Jump Sport family, Becca Tibon here with another power band workout. Today, we're gonna drop off the glute, drop off the beyond band, and we're only using the sexy flexi, the one with the two holes in the center. I'm delivering to you a lower body bar class, and I'm gonna show you how to use the jump sport without the bar. If you've got the bar, stand on top of it, heighten the bar so that your hands are at um, hip level. Before we get started with our bar class, I wanna just get a little bit of warm up here. So we're gonna straddle up those feet, a little bit more than hip distance apart. Shoulders are back. We're gonna drop down and then pull up. We're gonna do eight of those, ready? Come down, lift up, dropping that butt back. Try not to lean forward here, right? So we wanna come straight down and lift up. Five more, four more, three more, two. And now we're gonna open it up, squat down, lift, turn, come back up. Squat down, drop it, turn, come back up. Good job, down, turn, and up, down, turn. Last one, each side, twist, come back up, get those legs warmed up, the glutes warmed up, your hips warmed up, drive it around, give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. If you wanna add a couple of little jump squats in there, just to get started and get yourself really blowing out, go for that. Otherwise, we're gonna jump right in to our workout. Let's go. Starting with the right side, four exercises, four times, 40 seconds each. We're gonna do a reverse lift, really working into that donkadonk to protect your lower back. If you have lower back issues, you can bend forward either on your bar or on your jump sport. Let's get started. And you're set to go. The first move, you're gonna be facing your trampoline. We're gonna come down into a straight lift. If you have any lower back problems, I want you to go ahead and pinch over at the waist. That way it'll take pressure off of your lower back. Otherwise, you're gonna be standing straight up and pulling through. I do not want you leaning forward. I want you to come straight into it, core intact, back is strong and shoulders are tight. Let's go. Lifting straight back into a strong hold and then come back down. Back up, one, two, three, four, and then down. Up, two, three, four, squeeze that glute strong and then back down. Up again, we have two more here. Last one, now I want you to hold it up in small pulses, keeping it super strong. You're gonna feel the hamstring tighten, the glutes tighten, your back strong, pull it up. Bring that chest back and connect that breath in and out. We have six seconds left. You're probably feeling that other leg taking hold as well. And that is your 40 seconds, way to go. Your next one is gonna be a donkey. So we're gonna pretty much do the same thing pushing it back, squeezing, and then bringing it back in. But keep the band nice and tight, keep your foot up high. In five, four, three, two strong back, let's go. Pull it back, lift, and bring it back in. Kick back, lift, and bring it back in. Kick when you mean it, show it like you mean it, that's it. Kick back, squeeze it back. We have two more here. And then we're gonna add a little speed to it. Let's do it, in and out, squeeze. Again, if you have any lower back challenges, go ahead and hinge at your hips. Squeeze that glute. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now face front, hold on to the edge. We're gonna do the outside leg, circles to the outside, and then coming back inward. So lift it up, 
Make sure your feet are not in. You wanna make sure it stays tight on your foot. Put that heel out in three, two, and let's add those circles all the way around, keeping it tight. Strengthen through this glute, strengthen through your core. Back is strong. Lift up through that chest, that's it. Now add a little speed here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Are you feeling it? Now go around the other side. Squeeze it through, feel that inner thigh. That's it. Now add me some speed here. Perfect. Squeeze it through. Try not to have any movement throughout the rest of your upper body. Four, three, two, and one. Woo, shake it out. All right, we're gonna do some outer thigh, AKA saddlebags. Bend it down just a little bit, lift it out. We're gonna go ahead and lift up and then pull it back down again. In three, two, one. Lift up, pull it down. Lift up, hold, come back down. I know you're feeling it through the other side as well. Yes, that is amazing. And that's one of the values of doing resistance bands because you've got the linear resistance pulling through both sides. All right, now we're gonna add a little speed to it. Let's do it, tap, lift, tap, lift. Excellent. Now, if you're finding that even doing the bands is a little bit too hard for you, do these exercises without the bands. We have four, three, two, and one. All right, let's move on over to the other side. Face your trampoline, straight leg lift, bring yourself underneath, kick it back. In four, three, two, and one. Lift, hold, and then lower. You wanna keep that body straight, hips are together. Don't overdo your back. You wanna really squeeze it through that glute. And again, remember if it's too much for you, go ahead and hinge over and release some of that pressure from that lower back. But I want in the meanwhile that your chest is lifted high, your back is strong. I don't want you to put a lot of weight onto the trampoline. It's really there just for support or your bar if you're standing on the trampoline. Good job. We have three, two, give me a couple pulses. Three, two, one, way to go. Next is gonna be our donkey. Stepping firmly, pull it back. Let's go in five, four, three, two, and begin. Kick it back, bring it in. Kick back, keep it high, lift back in. Squeeze back like you mean it, drive it, get it there. Good job. Bring in the core, hold it tight, lift up through that back, keep that back strong while you're doing this. Woo, way to go. Let's add some pulses here and finish it out. We have just 10 seconds left. Squeeze, squeeze, drive it out. Feeling it through those hamstrings, the glute. Way to go, perfect. All right, now face front. We're gonna get into those thighs, step down, outer thigh. Now we're again, remember, don't let that heel come in. You wanna bring it, whoops, you wanna bring it out. Here we go, in three, two, and one. Outside circles, lift it high, try to get that knee above that belly button. Squeezing down, firm through this side. And again, hold on without, you know, making it the most important aspect of the workout. I want you to use your bar for support, but I don't want you to put all your weight into it. Does that make sense? All right, now add some speed and reverse it the other way. Get those inner thighs, drive it through, cross over that body. That's it. Four. Three, two, and one. Way to go. Shake it out. We're gonna go to that outer thigh now. Hold it on tight. Keep your body strong in the outer 
in your, in your foundational leg. Tap it down and let's go in four, three, two, and one. Lift and tap. Don't let that band bring you down. I want you to control it the whole way. This is a great strengthening for your legs, all right? Keep it strong, build it down. If it's too much, take the band off and do the exercise without the band. That's it. Squeeze through. Now add some speed up and tap. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it off. Good job. All right, let's finish up round three. I gotta put my band back on. All right, here we go. Keep it strong. Right glute, back up. Belly in and smile and breathe. Here we go in four, three, two, and one. Lift, two, three, and down. Up, two, three, and down. Notice I'm not lifting that much. It's not like it has to go wild high. The whole idea is to have it tight and concentrated. I'll show you from the back side. Lift, two, three, up, two, three down now double time and pulse it out lift and tap keeping it strong reaching for it we have five four three two and one Whew. all right let's hit those donka donks drive it back and if you want to get started before the 40 seconds go ahead get your exercises moving get some extra ones in there in five, four, three, two, kick back, squeeze it in. You're going straight back. I know sometimes through the cameras, it can look like a different angle. I'll come forward so that you guys can see it. It is straight back coming in. Notice my hips are not wiggling, upper body not wiggling. Definitely getting out of breath here, right? Just from these little bands. Here we go, now add me some speed, kick and pulse. Body is straight. Unless you have lower back challenges, then I, you can hinge at the hips. Keep that chest up high, drive the belly into your rib cage. That's it. Good job. All right, let's get those quads in our thighs. In four three, two, and one. Go round, make it big. That's it right there. Cross through it. And you might feel even more warmed up. You might have more movement in this round than you did in the first two rounds. Good job. Give me two more here, then let's add some speed. For four, three, two, reverse it. Go around, squeeze, lift. Now you feel that inner thigh. Yes, engage. Don't let that body shake and shiver. Keep it strong and around. Add me some speed. Go around, four, three, two, and one. Whoosh. All right, let's hit that outer. Outside tap. Here we go for the abductors, AKA those saddlebags in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, lift and down, up and down. Keep that core nice and strong. The shoulders are back and engaged. Don't put too much weight on there. Try and use your balance for this. This is just to add some stability. Perfect. Now we're gonna go a little bit faster in three, two, one, up and tap. Lift, down, up, push, you've got this. 10 seconds left, Woo. eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and done. Done with that side. All right, finish up round four. These rounds go fast. 
All right, so we're gonna start with that straight leg reverse, bringing it on down in four, three, two, go. Lift up, pull it down, squeeze back. Those toe is strong, lift through that heel, lift through that glute. We're trying not to lean forward unless we need to because of our lower back. Now add some speed and double time. Squeeze and pull. That's it. Press through that heel. Leg is straight, don't bend that knee. That is for the next one on our donkeys. We have 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and done. Woo, shake it out. All right, donkeys are next. Here we go, get set up, drop it up, press it through in three, two, one. Kick it and hold, back squeeze, lift it high, squeeze it up. Make sure you're as strong and tight as you can make it. Lift tight, that's it. Getting into that hamstring as well, push it. We have two more here and then we'll add some speed. Ready, drive it. Drive and pull, push it. Woo, take hold of that core. Breathe through this. Exhale, inhale, that's it. Two more, you've got it. Awesome, okay. Last in our quad circles. And we have one more exercise after this. Lift it up and you're gonna go around outside, crossing over the body in three, two, one. Keep that foot out. Don't let that heel come in. What also happens is if you drop your toe, you're gonna to drop the band. So keep your foot flexed while you're doing this. That's it. Add me some speed here. Woo. Five, four, three, two, one. Reverse it the other way. Go all the way around. Squeeze it through. That's it. Way to go, Jump Sport family. You've got this. I mean, some speed for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo. All right, shake it out. Let's get that hip. Abduct your time. Stomp down on the strong one. Lift it up, shoulders back. Lift and pull. That's it. Drive it and tap. Drive it and tap. Now you're probably really noticing the other side at this point as well. Yes, yes. Keep that leg long. Get ready for fast taps in two and one. Here we go. Tap and pull. Yes. I'm gonna make it a little harder and keep that hand out in front. Lift and pull. Way to go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! All right. March it on out. Right. And your message of the day, I love life. It is my birthright to live fully and freely. I give to life exactly what I want from life to give to me. And I am glad to be alive. I love life. All right, guys, go get it. Create your best day ever. See you in the next class.